Let's hunt. What is up and welcome back you beautiful vault hunters. So today we're going to be going over an optional side mission that randomly appears on the bounty board inside of Sanctuary. So this does show up differently for everybody, but in order to complete this mission, you will have to progress through the main story, completing at least the mission going rogue in order to access the area which this boss is located. Now he's going to be located on Eden 6 in the zone Amber Mire. So this mission is going to be to kill the Red Jabber. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to fast travel to Eden 6. We're going to go into the zone Amber Mire. We're going to go to the closest fast travel point, And then we're going to head over and we're going to hunt this guy down and kill him and all of his friends. It's going to be great. So the Red Jabber is a midget that hurls acid balls at you. He's guarded by a bunch of different jabbers. Uh, several badass jabbers included, especially if you're going to be on Mayhem 3 or True Vault Hunter mode or both. Um, so you're definitely going to have a fight going down in that area, and hopefully a bunch of that sweet precious loot. Now outside of this specific mission, the Red Jabber can also randomly spawn there. So keep an eye out if you're you know, farming anything in the area to make sure you hunt him down and kill him if he does spawn. This mission is also repeatable and respawns randomly on the board and sanctuary at different periods in time. So if you want to rinse and repeat these missions, if you want to hunt down the Red Jabber, guarantee the spawn, guarantee that he'll show up in that area, make sure you keep an eye on the bounty board. You can always grab it again as soon as it does appear again in sanctuary. If you're trying to tally up your total completed missions, you only need to do this mission one time. So killing the Red Jabber, grabbing the mission off the Sanctuary Bounty Board again is not going to give you plus two to your completed side missions or missions in general. So once you complete the mission for the first time, that is it and no further completions will tally up counting towards that. So that gives you all the information on killing the Red Jabber, where to go, how to do it, where he's located, and how to get the mission. If you have any other questions, make sure you drop that in the comments below. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you did not like the video, give me a thumbs down, but let me know why. If you have any ideas for me for future videos, go ahead and drop that in the comment section as well. So I'm going to keep the gameplay rolling in the background for you if you wanted to see me finish off all the enemies in this area. But as always, thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a good evening, afternoon, morning, night, whatever it is, wherever you are, but thank you. Thank you. 